Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix touch problem with the screen protector on your Samsung Galaxy S22 series. So the first thing that you can try to do is swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. In settings, go down and tap on displayed. Then we go down to the bottom and turn on touch sensitivity is that I increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with screen protectors. So if for some reason you have a screen protector on but it's not very sensitive, you can try to turn this on. So that is the first thing that you can try to do. All right, the next thing that you can try to do is go back into settings and then go down and tap on accessibility. In accessibility, you want to tap on visibility enhancement and go in here and turn off animations. So tap on remove animations and this so that prevents some screen effects useful if you are sensitive to animation or screen movement. For some reason, when you turn this one on to remove animations, sometimes that can help with the touch screen problems when you are using the screen protector. So give that, give that a try. And one last thing that you can try to do is to go back into settings and then tap on display and in displayed you want to go down and turn on um, always on um, let me try to find where it is now so always on displayed so let me just try to search for it always on display, so it's on lock screen, sorry. So it's in lock screen, so we go to lock screen and then always on display. You want to turn this one on, always on display. Uh, it uh, may help some people uh, with the touch screen issues. So turn this one on and then um, see if that can help with your touch issues on the screen when you are using a screen protector. Now, if you have tried all of those settings and you still have an issues with the touch um, with the touch screen, then unfortunately it could be that the issue is your screen protector itself. It could be maybe it's a low quality screen protector, even though you might pay quite a lot of money for it. Um, it could be a low quality screen protector. It could be the fact that it has not been installed correctly. If it's not installed correctly, um, unfortunately you will need to remove it and install it again. So try to install another screen protector and you see if that fixed the problem. Uh, obviously, um, it will cost you money to install another one, but uh, there is no point trying to use it if you have an issues with the screen and it's not very sensitive or it's not responding um, quite well, then uh, you need to replace the screen protector for get a new one and then hopefully the new one, a better one, will, will fix uh, the problem for you. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.